they will silently chew your house to the ground. By the time you notice anything, it will be too late. And you thought your in-laws were horrible house guests. Here's how to survive a termite infestation. These tiny intruders have a mouth designed to chew wood. Every year in the US, they cause more than $5 billion in property damage. Worldwide, that number soars to 40 billion. If you spot a few, they're not alone. A termite nest can have a population of about a million, and they're just as adept at hiding as cockroaches. You might not even notice them until you see the damage they caused, and by then, it might already be too late. Why is planting a tree near your house dangerous? How many years can an infestation go unnoticed? How could termites set your house on fire? Step 1. Don't let them in. Termite trespassers are hard to kick out, so you want to prevent them from entering in the first place. Look for holes that could give them access. Fill in any cracks that you might find using cement, grout, caulk. Hungry termites will feed on wooden structures that are up to 100 meters from their nest. If you want to plant trees, keep some space between them and your home. You also don't want them near any exposed wood. That would only provide a direct route to your house. Step 2. Keep your house dry. Termites love moist and warm environments. They build their nest in spots with high humidity. The last thing you want is to make your home hospitable for them. Keep it as dry as possible. Conduct regular maintenance checks around your house. Pay special attention to drainage, gutters, and downspouts. You want to make sure that the soil around the base of your home is dry. If there are any leaks, fix them immediately so you don't create a welcoming future nesting ground. Step 3. Don't be a hoarder. That pile of old fencing you're keeping next to your house because you think you can repurpose it for something else? Get rid of it. It's just a disaster waiting to happen. In 2011, a fire almost destroyed a home in Linwood, Washington. It took firefighters 25 minutes to bring the situation under control. A termite infestation created piles of sawdust and decomposing wood, and heat from the nest helped start the fire. The blaze spread, causing $200,000 in damage. Step 4. Identify the problem. Termites are incredibly tough. They're evolved to survive by hiding away from predators such as birds. They know how to lay low and go unnoticed for a long time. Your home can sustain them for years before the damage starts to show. Being aware of their presence in the early stages of the infestation could save your house and your pocketbook. Examine exposed wood and any hollow spots for tail signs such as mud tunnels, which termites create to travel through. They're not proficient flyers, but they do shed their wings. If you spot these, that's a problem. Step 5. Kill them. Once you're aware of the infestation, you need to act immediately. Hopefully, there's still something to be saved. And this isn't a do-it-yourself project. You'll have to call the pros. They'll provide soil-applied termicides, termite paint, and wood treatments to try to save your property. You can repair any damage with materials infused with termicides if you never want to see these critters come back. Dealing with uninvited insect guests that feast on your home is horrible, but could it get worse? Well, while paying attention to all those termites, you forgot to watch out for other disgusting bugs that thrive in filth, eat your food, and spread diseases. We can show you how to get rid of those too, here on How to Survive.